Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Ekeh Gouche and I'm just on one talk. So, today I'll be presenting to you a very important subject matter and I'll, like, I'll have titled it, Be Careful With That Sea of O. Be careful with that Sea of O. Now, we know the Sea of O is that doc document that shows that the titles have been perfected, right, on our property. You know, but nevertheless, we need to be careful because sometimes the Sea of O title that has been presented to us might not be what we think it is. And this is the reason why. Number one, a CFO title can be fake. So I can present to you a fake CFO title. In this real estate sector, there are so many people. We've got the right ones, the genuine guys, right? We've got the quacks. We've got the ignorant ones, you know, sorry to use that word. But we've got different categories of people here. Now, if you are unlucky or unfortunate and you meet the wrong set of people, they might present to you a CFO title that is fake, and then you will end up not using that CFO for anything. That's number one. Then number two is that a CFO, you need to check the purpose for that CFO. CFO has different purposes. That CFO sometimes it could be residential CFO, that's for residential, people want to live, stay there, right? That's the purpose of the CFO. It's not right, sometimes carry maybe, uh, maybe a commercial CFO, might be an industrial CFO, might be maybe an agricultural CFO. See, if you are someone who wants to do Maybe, uh, maybe you want to build stores, a store, right? You want to build stores, you want to build a shopping mall, shopping complex, you want to build a school, hospital, or something like that that's commercial, and you end up buying a residential sale of all property, you will not be able to do that particular thing that you want to do on that property because you bought the property with a different or with a wrong purpose. So, yes, it's carried a sale of all, but it has a different purpose. So, that's number two. Then, number three is a CFO in some cases, maybe if you check out the owner of that property, you saw that his name is not on that CFO. So you need to check out who owns this property. Is his name on the CFO? So check out the history of that CFO. How did they get the CFO? Whose name? Very important. I can, I can remember there was one particular colleague of mine that wanted to, um, was in a transaction and then he told me that the property that we get him was the CFO property. So I asked him, Ask them, ask him many questions at first. So I asked him, ask them that the person who is uh, who owns the property, is it his name that is on that sea of O that they are claiming to have? When he asked, it was a different person. And let me tell you the dangers of such. It could be that maybe the person whose name is on that sea of O has gotten maybe maybe he went to get a loan or something from a financial institution and then he cannot pay. If the bank or the financial institution wants to revoke that property, they can do that because it is his name that is on that CFO and it's going to affect you who has now bought from that person. So you have to check all these things. So when someone tells you my property has a CFO, it has a CFO, check. There are so many things to check, but these are just the three I just want to let you know. So um, if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, whatever it is that you've got, so just let me know. I'm willing to um, give you all the information I can. Thank you very much and have a great day. Boom.